Hello everyone. Thank you for joining again. In this video, we're going to talk about the DNS zone management. I am Jamal Arif and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. Our safe harbor statement. So once again, our objectives are to talk about the zone management service. How do you manage the records and zones and talk about a couple of use cases. So moving forward, uh, let's talk about uh, DNS zone management. So the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Domain Name System uh, Service lets you create and manage your DNS zones. Uh, you can create zones, uh, add records to zone, uh, and, uh, and allow the OCI Edge Network to handle your domain's DNS queries. So I'm logging into my console. On the home page, I can navigate to the main uh, menu section. And from here in the core infrastructure under networking, we'll find the DNS zone management and the traffic management steering policies. So click on DNS zone management, and this takes us to the home page of DNS zone management. So let's head down to DNS zone management. Uh, right now, when I'm in the DNS zone management, you can see that uh, the scope of the service is defined. So you have, I'm currently in the Ashman region. Uh, and the scope is defined into a particular compartment in my tenancy. So from here I can create uh, zones. So if I have a, uh, I own, I have already registered this zone with the register R, uh, I can uh, create a zone over here and then delegate that zone uh, on, onto my registrar. So let's go ahead and try to create a zone over here. So once you create a zone, uh, it gives you a couple of methods. Either it can uh, be a manual creation of a zone or you can import a zone file as well. Within the zone type, it tells you that whether you can select uh, a primary uh, zone uh, where the primary DNS refers to the DNS provider with control zone file modification. Uh, you can also select a secondary zone. If you select a secondary zone type, uh, it would then uh, ask you for an IP of your uh, master or uh, uh, server as well. So over here I'm actually creating a primary zone because I'm keeping OCI DNS as my primary uh, DNS service, DNS server. And I can then provide the zone name which I own. Uh, so for instance, if I own uh, example.com, I can just provide the uh, zone name over here. So uh, just for test purposes, I've already created a zone that I own. So OCI-DemoZone.net is one of the zones that I own and I have already registered with a registrar. If I click on OCI-DemoZone.net, I can see that uh, the zone has been created and uh, this is a primary uh, the zone type within OCI DNS service uh, and I can also see the details of the name servers. Uh, within the records, I can see there is uh, a SOAR record and then uh, different uh, name server records. I can also see a single A record which has been uh, added by, by myself. If I click on add record, this is where I can uh, add additional records. So I can add a record, uh, I, just like we mentioned in the slides, there are a bunch of different record types that are supported by the uh, DNS service. So you can see that there are multiple different record types. Uh, detailed of this is available in our documentation. Uh, and if you want to add, for instance, an, an A record, it would ask you the, uh, the label which you want to add to your zone that you have created, uh, the TTL, the time to live uh, for, uh, in, for this uh, A record, uh, and then the IP address uh, for, for the record. So just like here, I have created uh, an A record as well. So web.oci-demozone.net is my ACK record. Uh, a record, uh, I have added a 30, 30 TTL uh, and it's an A type of record and the IP address that I've assigned is the public IP of one of the instances within OCI. So let's go ahead and uh, add a record to, to my uh, zone that I've just created. I have a compute instance uh, running uh, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, this is the public IP address, and I would create uh, an A record against the public IP address of this compute instance. So we click on add record. This is an A record address that I'm creating. I can give an example of 
for instance create a label of demo uh, dot oci dash demo zone dot net that its uh, IP address is so I will just copy the IP address from here paste it in the IP address on this side and then just uh, unlock the uh, TTL time by default these are the 30 seconds but I can just do a, again a 30 second uh, TTL for my uh, record and submit once I submit uh, the changes it it creates the uh, the a record that I have uh, provided but it doesn't publish the change on the DNS uh, servers uh, so we before we it, it activates we need to actually publish these changes with the changes that we have created now so I'll go ahead and create to publish changes. It would again uh, show me the uh, the domain, the A record that uh, that is going to be uh, published now uh, based upon the TTL and the other R data value that I'm providing. So I'll click on publish changes. It will take a, a minute to uh, just verify. And now the uh, I can uh, take a look at my details page and see that uh, a new A record has been published with the label uh, demo uh, and the zone name is the same zone, zone name that I had. Now let's uh, open up another uh, tab and uh, go to the demo that we, label that we just created. So if I go to demo.oci-demozone.net uh, it navigates to the uh, compute instance which is running a basic web server and basic HTTP web server uh, and it navigates to that compute instance. So it shows me that it's a web server 2 which is running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and this is just a basic index page on that uh, on that on instance. That's all from our DNS zone management video. Thank you for joining.